on this segment, we will be porting a K24 RBB casting cylinder head. Sneak peek on the RBC and look at those. We got two K24 heads, two Type R PRB heads, and an S2000 cylinder head. Sometime in 2015 or 16, we did a cylinder head for a monster K24 for World Time Attack and also an S2000 that competed in it and they actually did really really good. We also have a couple of Dyna sheets to show you to explain what we're talking about. So let's go! Here's the exhaust side of the cylinder head. You can see it's still stock. We actually started carving out the exhaust with the carbide cutter, but we stopped this way we can show you step by step. And you can see we started shaping it on one of the ports, but you know, we realized, wait, we haven't taken a video for it to share you guys. So hope you guys enjoy this one. So let's proceed to the next step. Here we are shaping it with a carbide. We actually sprayed it with WD-40 initially just to lubricate it. So, you know, it, so it gets consistent and we'll keep going. And we speed it up with a time lapse. This way we can show you how it goes and keeps changing and it's visually easier to understand because, you know, you can follow it rather than you know just watch us for like the next one hour or two hours just on the carbide cutter this is a lot better right yeah all right it's getting there getting there and all right now we flip the head so we can work on the floor and you see a silver top itb manifold serves as our stand just to get the, the proper angle you know because we like itbs like that yeah you know all right Let's get it all aligned and straight for for more comfort when you pour it. that's important you know all right now we speed it up with the music oh yeah all right and you can see the passes on the carbide cutter shows you the shape that you want to get and after this we're gonna send it for cleanup with solvent or soap and then show you guys the current status let's go now here you can see the roughed out but shaped exhaust ports you can see the carbide finish you know and it's really taking the shape that we want to go for for improved efficiency which means more torque you know and fuel efficiency now let's look closer with the lighting and you can see it's getting to the shape that we want that promotes efficiency that's gonna give us good torque and power Oh, it looks really, really good. Okay, now we go with the sanding roll. We're gonna start smoothing out the roughness. Okay, now here we are with a cartridge roll. It's 80 grit, so we gotta get smooth. And you know, it won't take that long. All right, now we go with the time lapse. We choose 80 grit first because it takes more material than just 120 grit. Uh, we can go straight to 120 grit, but it's gonna take too long. So let's go with 80 first, you know? And the thing is, 80% or 90% of the time, finishing it off with 80 grit is okay, you know? Especially when you use some sort of lubricant, like in our case, it's ethyl alcohol and a bit of soapy water. It gets the texture finish good, but you know, this time we'll go with 120. All right, now we turn it over for the short turn. Let's go. <clears throat> right now, you gotta be careful. It's kind of heavy, but hey, you know, it is what it is. All right. 
there now we can smooth out the floor and it starts it start gonna it's gonna start to look good sorry about that all right yeah all right now we speed up doing on the floor all right you can see it's getting smoother and smoother and hey it's starting to look like a well pointed head all right okay now we have to invert it to actually no no actually to work on the bowl or the throat all right here we go all right we're turning it okay here oh, we're on the bowl okay we take it easy just get it consistent without hogging out the bowls and losing torque by way of slower airspeed you know so we gotta be careful with that and now here we're almost done with the last one all right yeah and we're gonna show you later the stuff that we didn't touch or avoided from actually over pointing or hogging the whole head you know we'll talk about it and give you a link of where to check better all right yeah and as usual we got carried away and just continued going on the 120 grit as you can see it's getting smoother it's actually the final stage when it comes to the grit now we flip it to work on the roof oh it's getting nicer and nicer you can see the texture looks really really good i mean you know using the ethyl alcohol mixed with liquid soap just helps clean up the surface and so you know we, we're not working on a greasy head that's you know that's gonna cause a lot of mess right now we flip it again to work on the bowl all right oh this one is really good now you know and it'll show you we're just gonna wash it up now now after solvent cleaning here it is, all finished up. Ooh, now it looks really, really good. And you know it's gonna be super efficient when it comes to flow. Oh man, it's gonna make good, good power. You know, look at this. We will show you a before and after. This is the carbide finish that we initially did earlier on. And here is the finished one. Mm-hmm, so, so good. And at this angle, it shows a little bit more of the contours that we shot for and actually achieved. Now that's efficient shape. To another angle, to the straight shot, and you can see how it took shape or even the divider got more contoured. And now it's ready to flow awesome torque. Now I'd like to talk a little bit more about the K-series heads. Most, if not all of the K-series heads flow substantially better than the B-series counterpart. Mainly because of a superior port design or shape from the factory and of course the bigger valves, you know. The bigger valve emulates a, like a bigger cam or a more ex aggressive cam profile so to speak so you can see how big of a disadvantage the b-series have and going back to the valve size it's more like the bigger valve you have the bigger curtain area let me show you a profile on that as you can see here i'm talking about the curtain area if you look at it the bigger valve which is d in diameter increases the curtain area which is almost the same as increasing valve lift you know like running bigger cams so when you think about it the k-series difference of 35 millimeter intake valve compared to the b-series that's 33 millimeter that's a huge difference right when it comes to making power or even torque and you can't really increase boost just to compensate because there are other things that can be damaged and you can click here 
for episode 5 of the B20 VTech series because we talk about a little bit about those things, you know? Another thing that I strongly dislike locally is that I see people pride in claiming on stock ports and they make all that power and sure, that's really good and pretty impressive. But the thing is, if you're an all motor or NA and you're making that much power, you're strangling your motor. What more would you make if your head was ported? And on turbo, the turbo guys keep keep just, you know, just keep running up the boost. Because, you know, the turbos from Borg and all the other good ones, they keep producing more boost or more capability. It's just that it becomes detrimental, you know. You start melting injector tips, spark plugs. It doesn't make sense. And look at this. This is Bong's masterpiece, the H3 Rurex DC2 Integra that holds the record at 8.8 .8 seconds until now. It still holds it from since, I think, 2013. Imagine that. The, the dyno is really good and here you can see how efficient the engine is on the dyno. It's an 85 millimeter bore, 87.2 stroke, 2 liter B18. Check it out. On 16.5 PSI or 1.1 bar, it's already at 577.58 wheel horsepower. Wow, right? And on 34.8 PSI or 2.4 bar, it's already at 953 wheel horsepower. Crazy, right? You see how efficient that is? And this is just a B-series, you know? Because it's ported well. And here it's its record run on the dyno with 40.3 PSI or 2.7 bar. It's 1,173. Crazy! And nowadays we see people with stock claiming stock ports but run 4 bar or 58 PSI. Now imagine this if you ran at 58 PSI. That would be like speed factory level horsepower. Because at 2.7 it's already 1174 wheel horsepower. Crazy right? But you know this is built by Bong. It doesn't matter if I helped or what. It's all credit to him. And obviously, it's tuned very well. It hurts my pride to say this, but it's tuned by someone way, way better than me. And when it comes to tuning, the guy is legendary level. Alright? So, props to that. One thing worth mentioning right now is that the reason the RBB casting is more preferred by the circuit racers is because it has slightly lesser port volume than the PRB counterpart. This way, you know that it produces, it easily produces actually more airspeed. So when you port it, you don't quickly lose velocity. And so for certain builders, it gives them more choice. They could either run a bigger cam than usual so it's not necessarily one head is more torqued than the other no it just gives you a different plan of the attack which may suit or not suit the certain racetrack that you go in so you know and that's pretty much like the gsr b18 c1 head compared to the pr3 b16 head the gsr has about like maybe five percent or seven percent smaller port volume as you notice a lot of people that run pro 3 cams they actually prefer to run a gsr head it's mainly because of the port velocity you know because you can port it however you want to get all the power or flow that you need but it doesn't sacrifice port velocity as easily as a pr3 head and you know there's a solution to that you can just run more stroke this is why the prb head works really really well with a 99 stroke 
K24. Now, as you notice, it's choosing who or where you, your cylinder head gets were reworked or ported is as crucial as choosing the proper builder that would lead you to having a successful project, you know? And while we live in the Philippines, in Asia, a lot of our guys in the US will have to spend a lot of shipping money to go to us. I mean, yes, we charge a lot cheaper than most, but shipping cost would make it total to a more expensive or the same as having it local. And you can go to Portflow Design in California. These guys do good work. Of course, Endine, Larry Widmer is a good friend of mine in Texas or in New Jersey, Head Games Motorworks. You know, these guys do a really good job. And also, bad guys worldwide. They're also in California, just like Port Flow. So, you gotta choose one of these guys and discuss your project because I know they're more than willing to discuss ideas and changes that you may need to suit your project better, you know? But hey, if you guys wanna go to us, that's definitely no problem. We'll definitely welcome that. So let's go, let's go to us. I mean, you know? Hey, you gotta try. And before we go back to the cylinder head, if you like what we're sharing, all the information, the ideas and details, hit the like button and subscribe. I'll wait for you. Come on. All right, okay, now let's go continue. This is the roughed out intake port, you know? on the carbide but the bowl we've already smoothed it you can see and here it is on a slight angle you can see the curves and the bowl after finishing it off with the 80 grit here we are with the intake ports all done finished and ready to rock and roll oh it looks really really good uh-huh yep now this is gonna make power here with better lighting you can see the consistency and the good shape yeah here are the shots and you can see the texture and finish is really really awesome that's all just 80 grit and of course our awesome porting lube our mix as you look close the texture is really really awesome and actually you know locally we plan to sell this or we're willing to sell this head and it's not going to be that expensive it's actually going to cost like a b16 surplus head that's all so if you're looking to make more power on your k series here's a head for you to get that is not going to break the bank or going to cost a lot you know and hey it's tested and proven in Australia at World Time Attack. Here is an RBC manifold we ported years ago. We started doing this in 2012. So we got years and years of experience porting RBC and Skunk 2 K-Series manifolds. So hit us up for any of those work or if you want the K24 head. We gotta thank you for that. And you can click here for more of the videos that you wanna check about or research so subscribe will you